Hi there, my name is Moala. I want to speak about making drawer in this tutorial. I already had another tutorial about working with AH navigation drawer, but that was only for basic for Android. Now I want to speak about another drawer which is B4X drawer. Let's go to its page. This is a cross platform library, which means if you use it, you can use the same project for basic for Java and for basic for iPhone. And this is the result of this library. Okay, so let's see how to make a simple example of this drawer. In basic for Android, click on new and choose default. Let's give a name to our project. Very good. By default, there is a button here. We don't need that, so let's omit that. There is a default layout in your project. Let's make that ready for our drawer. So I hold Control and then I click on that. I don't need this button, so I omit that. Maybe we need one toolbar here on the top of the layout. I use one panel for that. Maybe this one to both sides and then one color for that. Maybe something like this. And we need one icon here, menu icon. For that one, I use one label. So I click on panel and then from add view, I choose label. Let's resize it because I want one menu icon here. I can use typeface of font awesome. And now here I can choose menu icon, which is here. And then let's paste it here. Very good. To see the result, we simply press F2. And then we can see that here. Okay, we need to change the color of layout. So I choose maybe this color, a little gray. Very good. Now let's save the layout. Now it's time to add the library. So I type before its drawer. Okay, let's activate that and define it in global event. And now we can initialize that. As our first parameter, we need one callback. So we just simply type me. We don't need to work in this tutorial with that and one name for one event for this drawer. Again, we just leave it empty. And one parent for this drawer. The parent of this drawer is same activity. So I type activity. And now the width of the drawer, maybe 50% of X, which is half of the width of the screen. One important point, about before x drawer is that once you use that you cannot use activity.load layout so i need to comment the previous line by control q so how to load our main layout this way drawer dot central panel dot load layout that is instead of activity.load layout so let's load the same layout, which is this one. Now it's time to make one layout for the drawer itself. So let's go to designer. I need to create a new one. Maybe one panel here again. And again, this one. 
and its color let's change that to gradient something maybe from this color to blue very good and then we need some items here I want to use label for that so let's add label this is for icon so again I need to change the typeface to font ascent and maybe this icon and another label here sample text now let's change the colors for the layout itself maybe again white or a little gray and this one dark gray and this one lighter gray maybe this color and now we can duplicate that by pressing ctrl d and again let's change the icon for each item let's paste it here and this one to see the result just F2 very good but it seems that instead of text color I change the color not text color so let me choose them and maybe light gray and let's change the color or maybe just simply emit that very good maybe larger size no. and align to center and maybe we need to get rid of this curve here so I click on this and I just make that zero very good now we can save that drawer layout now it's time to load the layout that we just created drawer dot left panel dot load layout and the layout we just created now I want the user of my application to open the drawer once he click on that icon button in this layout so let's go back to this layout again by holding control key and I right click on this and add click event I can tell my drawer to be open drawer dot left open that is a boolean variable so I need to make that equal to true very good let's run the application okay once I click on this the driver will open now maybe we need a little modification maybe to get rid of this one and make that wider and make this one wide so let's do that I make it 70% to get rid of this one here I make it false and to make that icon button white I go here and change the text color to white let's see the result again when I click on this icon I can open the drawer the other way to open the drawer is sliding in and sliding outside what about if I click on this one to open the drawer and then I click on back button it closes the program we need to change that to just close the drawer when I click on back button how to do it by using activity.keypress I type sub 
space tab activity key press and I change the name to activity so I can say if key code is equal to key codes dot key back and the drawer is open then close the drawer this way left open is equal to false I don't want to close the application so I return true otherwise I can return false let's see now this is open when I click on this it closes the drawer but if the drawer is not open and I click on this one it closes the application okay the sample is ready but let me add two other points if you want to use drawer with pages see the example here that was point number one and point number two if you want to see how this library works you can see the codes this way right click here go to internal libraries and find the library this one and open that by WinRAR so let me go to WinRAR and I drag it to WinRAR okay this is the class you can open that and you can see how this library works okay very good I hope you enjoy my tutorial please subscribe in my channel and hit the bell button and if you have any question just make a comment for me